In today's video, we're taking a look at a pizza oven for your grill, either gas or charcoal. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you woke up today with the desire of pizza, just like the pizzeria, but without the big bucks spent on a pizza oven. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. And you can find these at different budget prices, under 200 or even under $100. We're gonna leave links to both on the description. The great thing about this particular oven is that it's compact and you can also use it on a gas grill or a charcoal grill. And being easy to carry, you can take it to friends and family houses for parties. It comes with a pizza stone that you can do from small to medium sized pizza. Here at the Statabox team, we like to call them personal size. That means everybody gets its own small pizza. So if you want anchovies on yours, or pineapple, or spam, or plain, we call that one bread. Once we remove the pizza stone, we're gonna notice that it has tabs that hold the pizza stone in place and it has a total of four, two in the front and two in the back. That means that every time you place your pizza stone, it's gonna lay on the same place. On each of the sides, we have indentations to place our hand to make moving this oven a lot easier. And on this particular one, it does have some chrome plating saying warning is hot because the last thing you want on pizza day is to die or to have a permanent tattoo on the inside of your hand. Under the pizza stone on the actual oven housing, we notice it has holes and through the holes is where the heat comes, either from charcoal or your gas grill. And we can tell you that this pizza stone gets hotter and faster than your conventional oven. We've never gotten crust to look like the pizzeria one until we use this gadget. And that's why we brought it here to show it to you guys, girls, both or none, in the Statabox community. At the top, we have a gauge or what we can call a word thermometer where it lets you know the different ranges where you want the heat index level to be at. To the left, in yellow, we have warm. At the middle, orange, we have ideal. And to the right, we have hot. If you notice, the pizza stone does not reach all the corners of the oven. So that means that the flames, either from the charcoal or your gas grill, are gonna go to the top and cook your pizza, not only at the bottom to create a good crust, but also at the top, working as an oven. The other cool factor on that is that the heat, if you place your pizza close to the end of the pizza stone, you're gonna have that great crust. And if you want to go all out, even the char spots. Now that we filled your brain with data, let's get to the grill and let's start cooking. The first thing that we want to do is remove the upper grate to have space for our pizza oven. In our case, we have five burners. We're going to place the oven on the three on the middle, leaving the two on the outer side off. We center it to get the maximum heat on our pizza stone and then go ahead and turn on those three burners under it. And in this case, we start at high. And we like to take the temperature to the end of ideal or a little bit on the hot side. That gives us the perfect crust for our liking. In your case, it might be different. So trial and error, as in cooking, you'll need in this one. Now that we leave our grill burning up in smoke, and no, that's not from the pizza oven. That was just oiling the grates to avoid any future rusting. There goes a pro tip. Now comes the fun part. And this is the time when you're racing against time. Because to get your pizza inside the oven, you're gonna need a pizza paddle. And this could be of wood or metal. And that is having your pizza there for too long or making it too heavy. Because when you go to slide that pizza off, you're gonna notice that nothing moved except your topping. And you're gonna see your toppings on the oven and the dough still on your paddle. So to avoid that, we wanna dust flour our paddle 
that'll keep everything as dry and light as possible. But you know, Watson is always gonna ask for all the toppings that you have and a little bit extra. So this is the part where you gotta bring your A game. But if you don't like them that much, the B and C game is good enough. Just like Soup Kitchen, there's no pizza for you. If you wanna check our how to make pizza video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. And that's regular pizza and we also have whole wheat pizza. But on this oven, remember you can even do bread. It won't be very tall, but you can. We have a bread recipe video as well. Link in the description. Now that you made your pit stop, your vehicle is ready to be loaded. We've gotten to our set temperature and this is the one to our liking. So the technique is a snap forward and backward. It's a snap so fast that sometimes thunder and lightning are released from your body, but no one seems to see it. But we know you can set that pizza in there. If you wanna lower the temperature, the only thing that you have to do is lower the knob on your gas grill and wait for the temperature to come down. If you're using charcoal, then you just wanna move a couple of charcoal briquettes to the side until it cools off. So to get even crusting, you wanna move the pizza around in the oven from time to time. And remember, if you wanna have a darker, crispier crust, setting your pizza the closest to the edge would be preferred. The cook time for this pizza was about seven to nine minutes with some turning every two to three minutes. We also tested calzone that kind of resemble bread. So that can give you an idea how it would turn out. As you can tell, we get a good crust and color and nice char marks if that's your thing. It is ours, so we don't judge. Overall, we've been testing this pizza oven for about three months and have had great results. It's a conversation piece. It makes wonderful pizza and it makes way better tasting pizza and looking pizza than your traditional oven. It's a more hands-on approach, but is worth it. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Stata Box team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.